Hey everyone, this is Lil Dylan, creator of Act Like a Bush, bringing you a video that has been requested numerous times. You've been asking for as long as I can remember for a video on how to ninja defuse, so finally, here's how to ninja defuse in Black Ops 2. Before we begin though, I'd just like to point out that the only rule when ninja defusing is to defuse the bomb right after the enemy plants it without killing him. Everything else you do doesn't matter because there's no proper way to ninja defuse, which is what makes it so great. This video is just my recommendations for how to ninja defuse that will give you the best chances of getting one. This is also not a quick little video just giving you the class setup and setting you free. This is an in-depth analysis on ninja defusing, where I will thoroughly explain every part of your class, everything you should do in game, and more. If you don't care about what I have to say though, here's the recommended class before I begin. Okay, first, let's get into class setup. I'm going to teach you the class setup I would use if I was a noob at ninja defusing. This setup will counter a lot of things that could go wrong when trying to ninja defuse, but also has a lot of just-in-case things. Meaning, you won't need them in every ninja defusing situation, but it helps to have them just in case. This setup is also only completely available once you've reached level 55 in your prestige, and works best if you have a gaming headset such as the Turtle Beach X12s. Alright. So remaining unseen is vital to ninja defusing. The best way of doing this is to find an area close to the bomb you want to defuse where enemies will not see you. Corners are usually good spots, and in older Call of Duty games, patches of grass worked well with ghillie suits. However, Black Ops 2 does not have ghillie suits and rarely has grass or bushes by the bomb. So instead of acting like a bush, you need to act like you're dead. To do this, you need to have a black hat as your tactical item. Once you have the black hat, lay prone in your hiding spot and take it out it will stop most of your character's movements and make you appear dead. The black hat is also helpful for destroying UAVs, but you will lose the black hat. Now, your perks play a big role in ninja defusing, so if you want the best chance of getting a defuse, this is what you need to do. First, in your wildcard slots, you should equip perk 1 greed as well as perk 3 greed. Now for your actual perks. In the perk 1 tier, you should select blind eye and ghost. Blind eye is used just in case the enemy team gets a helicopter or another killstreak they do not manually control. This perk prevents that killstreak from killing you while you're hiding. Ghost is used just in case the enemy team gets a UAV killstreak. Friendly UAV inbound. With Ghost, they cannot see you on their minimap while you're defusing. Charge is set. Bomb offline. However, they can see you while you're just hiding and not defusing. From the UAV inbound. If you're hiding and they get a UAV, my recommendation is to destroy it. Or if you can't, try walking around while keeping your eye on the bomb, because you won't appear on their map while you're moving. You know you're not appearing on the enemy's minimap when your yellow triangle on your map is dull and not lit up. For your second perk, you need Cold Blooded. This is the most important perk in your entire class, because the enemy team will most likely be using at least one of the items it stops from working. The enemy will not be able to detect you with dual bands. Target finders, sensor grenades, MMSs, or player controlled aircraft such as the Dragonfire. Even if they don't have any of those things, the perk also makes it so if the enemy aims at you, your name will not show up on their screen and their crosshairs won't turn red. 
This is extremely important, because if you do not have this and the enemy doesn't see you at first, when they walk by, you will basically have a big Here I Am sign over you. <laughs> now, for your third perks. You'll need Awareness and Dead Silence. Assuming you have a gaming headset, awareness will be extremely helpful because it makes sounds even louder than the headset already does. Even if you do not have a headset, the perk will still make the enemies easier to hear. But, with or without, a lot of the time the stupid background music will get in the way of hearing the bomb get planted. So go to Options, go to Audio Settings, and turn off the music. If you have a headset, set the preset to headphones. If you don't, set it to Bass Boost. Knowing when the enemy is around is important. If you hear the enemy walk up behind you and stop, he's probably going to kill you, so awareness can save your life. Enemy it also helps when working with teammates. Say you're hiding at bomb B, and your friend is hiding at bomb A. Your friend hears nothing by him, but you hear a lot of footsteps. Nine times out of ten, this means they're going to plant where you are, and this gives you the chance to tell your friend to come over and help out. This is really likely to happen, especially when there's around 30 seconds left to plant the bomb. The reason this perk is so important, though, is for hearing the enemy plant the bomb. Since you can hear noises that are further away, awareness lets you hide further from the bomb, so even if the enemy looks around for diffusers, they won't find you because you're too far. Here's what the bomb sounds like when being planted without awareness. The bomb is armed. And here's what it sounds like with awareness. The bomb has been planted. Dead Silence is part of this class to have your character remain silent. With all the things you just learned, keep in mind the enemy can use awareness to hear you. So use Dead Silence just in case they have awareness. Dead Silence also prevents your character from talking, which can give away your position. That's a kill. By the time you have all your perks and items selected, you will have two remaining slots available in your loadout. It does not matter what you do with these two slots, but I'll give you my recommendation. I suggest equipping a submachine gun because you will be able to move fast and have protection if you need it. Also attach a suppressor, so if for some reason you do need to shoot someone, you won't give your position away. I do not suggest having two weapons because one will appear on your back while you're hiding, and you'll look a lot more alive. For score streaks, I recommend the UAV, counter UAV, and a third one of your choice. These don't really matter, but a UAV can help you figure out what bomb the enemy team might plant at, and a counter UAV can be used in place of destroying the enemy UAV. Like I said earlier, this class has everything you might need. Emphasis on might. Personally, when I ninja defuse, all I use is awareness, cold blooded, and a black hat. You can even substitute the black hat for a tactical insertion or ballistic knives, but the black hat is best. Or if you're feeling risky, you can pretend you're a statue by holding a combat axe or a shock charge. It is possible to get a ninja defuse with nothing in your class, but it's extremely difficult. Alright, you have your class, now let's put it to work. For sake of this video, I'm going to be playing on the map Standoff, because we've determined it to be the easiest map to get a defuse on. When the defusing round is about to start, be sure to switch to your defusing class, because you don't want to waste any time when the round begins. You should have a plan for where you want to hide, so you can get there quickly and not waste any time looking for a hiding spot. The bomb site is usually placed closer to the defending team's spawn, which gives you a few seconds to get there and hide before the planting team arrives. However, a few seconds is not a lot of time, and if the enemy tries to rush plant, which is when they grab the bomb and run straight to the bomb site to plant it, you will get caught if you're taking your time. Be aware of how your character is dressed by looking at your teammates before the round starts, and then, if possible, hide where there are similar colors so you blend in. For example, a character dressed in dark green is more hidden in the grass than one with these stupid red pants. What is this camo supposed to blend in with anyway? Red, black, and green? There's no way it blends in with anything. Oh. Uh oh. Lay down in your hiding spot and wait. Don't kill anyone unless you absolutely need to. Pay close attention to the sounds around you, and when you hear them start to plant, jump into action. 
As you walk up to the planter, stay out of his view, and then lay down behind his back so he won't see you. Hold down the X button, because by holding it, you will immediately start to defuse once he finishes planting. This is helpful because he will most likely turn and run, creating noise which will cover up the sound of you opening the bomb case. And there you go, Ninja Diffused. I'm not going to show you good places to hide so I can keep this video a bit shorter, but they're pretty easy to spot. You just need to think about the possible directions the enemy will come to the bomb site. You don't want to be right in their line of sight. The most important line of sight not to be seen from is from the path to their spawn. The majority of them will come in through that way, and one is guaranteed to spot you. For an extremely exaggerated example, if you hide against the side of the bomb facing the way you came in, rather than the way they will come in, you will have a better chance of not getting caught. Just think about where you would look if you were planting, and then don't go there. If you're still having trouble finding spots, watch some of our videos to get ideas. And that's how to ninja defuse, guys. It's not that easy, though. There are a million things that could go wrong and will go wrong at some point. Trust me, I've gone hours upon hours without a defuse. The key is patience and luck. There's no guarantee you'll get one. So bring some friends and have fun with it, because it could get really frustrating really fast. Here are just some of the problems you'll face while ninja defusing. Your team kills the other team before they can plan. Your team kills the guy planting. They find your hiding spot. They kill you while you're defusing. The other team doesn't plant at all. They plant the other bomb. Bomb active. They see you when you stand up. I could go on all day. Patience, guys. Good things come to those who wait. And there you have it. Now you know all the ins and outs of ninja defusing. So go out and get a kick-ass defuse. And once you do, check in to see if we're running our top 5 ninja defuses of the week. That series should be coming out soon, so get your clips ready. Thank you for watching everyone. If you're still here, maybe give this video a like or a favorite, or even better, spread it around so people can know how to defuse. But this video took a lot of work and a lot of planning. Just the script is 6 pages long, so show us some love for spreading our secrets. Thanks again guys, this is Lil Dylan of Act Like a Bush, signing off.